Hey everyone, and this is just an introductory video to show everyone what how, what Magic the Gathering is like, since I love it so much. So, in this video I'm just going to show you the basic card types, how they work, and interact with, with each other. So here are the seven basic card types. I'm going to start with the most uh, basic here, it's the land. All right. So, first of all, about playing Magic. Everyone starts with a 60 card minimum deck. You can have more than that, but you have to have 60 cards minimum. And lands are important because you need it, you need them to cast spells. So every one of these cards here, anything that's not a land is a spell. And you need a mana to cast it. So I would suggest to have uh, about one third of your deck be lands. Just so that you have enough to cast your spells. Alright? So five basic colors. Red which is mountain, white plains, green forest, black swamp, blue island. These are your basic colors and um, you need to cast the, the spells of the appropriate color. Some lands such as this one can add one colorless or it can add red or green. So that means this can add uh, two colors or it can add colorless. Okay. So moving on to the card types, start with the sorcery. A sorcery is a spell that can only be played during your turn. Generally they're pretty, uh, pretty powerful spells. So I'll show you the mana cost is in this corner here. It's, it says five and then two green symbols means that you need two, two green mana and five of any other color of mana to cast it. So five colorless, two green. Just has a spell, total of seven. Alright, and then you just, once you cast it, you just do whatever this text says here. And some have special abilities like Entwine, it says choose both if you pay this extra cost. So we'll get both effects. This one, same thing, six colorless, six of any mana, one green. Six of any mana, one red. So that's the mana cost. Next one, instant. Instant is like a sorcery. The one key difference is that the instant can be playing during the opponent's turn, whereas the sorcery can only be playing during your turn. So instants include counter spells. So what this means is counter target spell. Once the opponent plays a spell, you can respond to it with a counter spell. So if it's countered, that means the spell does nothing and it goes into its graveyard. Once a spell goes into the graveyard, your, dis it's, your graveyard is, is your discard pile. Once a card is in your graveyard, um, well, it has no effect on the battlefield anymore. So that means that uh, whatever spell he plays has no effect if it gets countered. Okay. And one other thing I would like to add, X means that you can put any number of, of mana into it. And then it says counter target spell unless this controller pays X. If you put 5 here, then unless he pays 5, it gets countered. And it could be any other thing too. If you put 2 into it, unless he pays 2. This one destroys a creature. It's one color, this one black. It's more instants. This one's draw X cards. One other thing I like to add permanence are anything that's on the battlefield. So. Uh, creatures, enchantments, artifacts, lands would be permanents. Okay. This one, artifact. It's pretty simple. Something that stays on the battlefield. You can use any color to cast it. So it's uh, any deck can play it. And they stay on the battlefield. If they're an equipment, that means they can be used on a creature. So you pay its equip cost. Then the creature gets whatever benefit it has here and you can move them around other creatures and they also stay on the battlefield if the creature dies enchantment if it just says enchantment it stays on the battlefield and does whatever effect it has and other things such as auras, so they can enchant permanents this one you control enchanted permanent this one can enchant lands so that's an aura for land this is an aura for a creature it says enchant creature so it does whatever effect it has on that uh, creature here. Uh, a multicolor cost means you had need two different, two or more different uh, 
mana cost for casting it. This one's white and black, and one colorless to cast this spell. The difference is that enchant creatures or aoras, when the permanent gets destroyed, this one uh, the enchantment also dies. That's the key difference between that and uh, no, and an equipment. Equipment doesn't die, and the aora will. So this is another aora, and that's enchantment. Sacrifice means that you put it in your graveyard when you use it as part of the cost. Sacrifice means you have to get rid of it. Okay, next card type is creatures. So creatures, uh, when you play them, you can't use them that turn, uh, that turn until it's your next turn. So they can't attack or use any abilities until it's been your next turn, unless they have an ability called haste. Okay, so if I play this creature on this turn, I can't use it until my next turn. They can, however, block. So if an opponent plays a creature and they attack, blocking is just defending. So if you to defend your life, um, every player starts out with 20 life and 7 cards. So to protect your life here, you, you can block the, you can choose to block the other creature. And you see these little numbers here at the bottom. And 4-2 means that it's 4, t four power, it deals 4 damage, 2 toughness means he has 2 hit points. This one's a 1-1, one, one. it means he has 1 power and 1 toughness. So if, if he attacks with this guy and I block with this guy, this one deals 4 damage to him and he only has 1 hit point so he dies. This guy deals 1 damage to him, he has 2 hit points so he doesn't die. So this guy would die and go into the graveyard, whereas this guy will stay alive. Okay, so that's creatures. Attacking and blocking. Whenever they attack, they will tap to show that they've been used. Tapping anything means that you're using them. And once a creature is tapped, you can't block with it. Okay? And some creatures have a lot of ability, such as flying. Flying creatures can't be blocked except by other creatures with flying. And a lot of creatures have abilities, basically. They can tap to add, uh, this one taps to add this to your mana pool, so that's an ability this one has. You can tap it to use it, but then you can't block, or attack for that matter. Yeah, your creature uh, can't be tapped before attacking. So that's creatures. Last card type, Planeswalker. A Planeswalker is a permanent, um, it has several numbers you will see on, on this card. The number down here means this number of counters it starts out with. So this guy has three. So once you cast him, he will come out with three counters on it. Then these abilities here, plus one, minus one, minus four, is however many counters it adds or subtracts in order to use that ability. So if I want to use this one, plus one counter, then I do this ability. Or I can use this one, minus one counter, and I do this ability. Each planeswalker can only be used once per turn. Uh, once per your turn, they can't be used on the opponent's turn. And the opponent can also choose to attack it instead of you. So that's a, another key difference. They can choose to attack it, they can choose to do damage to it instead of you. And again, they can only be used once per turn if uh, they do damage to it. So this is three hit points, right? Three counters. Counters are its hit points. If a creature does three damage to it and this has zero, uh, counters, then it dies, goes to the graveyard. And once again, plus one, it gets another counter, basically one more hit point, minus one, one less hit point to use that. And I think I've gone over the basics of uh, basic card types. Uh, one other thing is some cards will have legendary on them. Legendary means you can't play more than one on the battlefield at a time, if of the same card, I mean. If this card is legendary, and I play another one of this card on the battlefield, they will both go to the graveyard. Basically only one can be on the battlefield at a time. And that's the basics of it. I'll show you in my other video uh, by playing to see how these cards will interact.